If you have not watched my previous video titled, What is Sexual Energy, please watch it first, that will give you a base for understanding what's coming next. The link is in the description. So, let's get started. According to yogic sciences, when you don't waste the vital energy and save it up by not ejaculating unnecessarily, you develop an attractive personality, you become a person who is outstanding in his works, whose speech is impressive and thrilling, who has lustrous eyes and a magnetic aura on his face, and who has awe-inspiring, charismatic personality. One of the greatest self-help authors of the last century, Napoleon Hill, the author of the bestseller Think and Grow Rich, has written a whole lot on this vital energy and the ways to use it to achieve success. He calls it sex energy, and the process of transmuting this energy into success is sexual energy transmutation. He has dedicated a whole chapter to it, and according to him, it is the tenth step towards riches. He gives the benefits of conserving this energy and transmuting it as follows. The men of greatest achievement are men with highly developed sex natures, who don't waste their vital energy by unnecessary ejaculations, men who have learned the art of sex transmutation, which is the switching of the mind from thoughts of physical expression to thoughts of some other nature. When you don't waste your vital energy, the sex energy, you develop keenness of imagination, courage, willpower, persistence, and creative ability. The factor of personality, known as personal magnetism, is nothing more nor less than sex energy, Highly sexed people always have a plentiful supply of magnetism. Through cultivation and understanding, this vital force may be drawn upon and used to great advantage in the relationships between people. This energy may be communicated to others through the following media. The handshake. The touch of the hand indicates, instantly, the presence of magnetism, or the lack of it. The tone of voice. Magnetism, or sex energy, is the factor with which the voice may be colored, or made musical and charming posture and carriage of the body. Highly sexed people move briskly and with grace and ease. The vibrations of thought. Highly sexed people mix the emotion of sex with their thoughts or may do so at will and in that way may influence those around them. Body adornment. People who are highly sexed are usually very careful about their personal appearance. They usually select clothing of a style becoming to their personality, physique, complexion, etc. Transmuted sex energy can add warmth to your handshake, strength to your voice, attraction to your personality. He goes on to say that, controlled sex supplies the magnetic force that attracts people to one another. It is the most important factor of a pleasing personality. It gives quality to the tone of voice and enables one to convey through the voice any feeling desired. It serves, as nothing else can serve, to give motive power to one's desires. It keeps the nervous system charged with the energy needed to carry on the work of maintaining the body. It sharpens the imagination and enables one to create useful ideas. It gives quickness and definiteness to one's physical and mental movements. It gives one persistence and perseverance in the pursuit of one's major purpose in life. It is a great antidote for all fear. It gives one immunity against discouragement. It helps to master laziness and procrastination. It gives one physical and mental endurance while undergoing any form of opposition or defeat. It gives one the fighting qualities necessary under all circumstances for self-defense. When you transmute your sex energy, you can have the strength, genius, libido, and erection anytime. You become more sensitive to stimuli and more exuberant and expressive. You become more energized and inspired and will be more driven to take action. You become more aware of hunches and you get turned on by whatever you are working on or thinking about. In brief, it makes winners and not quitters. Jay Onwick, in his book Sexual Energy Transmutation. The Secret Path to Health, Wealth and Genius, writes a very poetic description of things, which semen retention can do. He says that, when you retain your semen and don't ejaculate it unnecessarily, your body's energy and resources can be channeled toward creating that something which is the fire in the general's eye, the melody in the singer's voice, the flow in the author's pen, the warmth in the teacher's voice the sprint in the athlete's feet, the firmness in a handshake, the healing in the pastor's hands, the radiance on the master's face, the eloquence of the orator, the charisma of the statesman, the genius of the professor, the charm of a lover, the acumen of the businessman, the doggedness of the champion, the creativity of the artist, the equanimity of the adept, and so on. There are so many other benefits of quitting porn and masturbation. There are personal reasons too, so, just write down your reasons for quitting porn and keep this list with you to go through it whenever your motivation wanes. We will talk about the effects of watching porn in the next video. So, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.